Well, in this part 4 of this writing rule video series or playlist, we're going to see that we can get rules to evaluate true not just on stuff that is in the payload but also other criteria like for example uh, whether this happens within my network or from the outside in or from the inside out how this traffic went remember that QRA is particularly good in terms of the networking and the flows of this so let's actually see how do we do that well as you probably remember in or have seen in some other videos that I've done or learned somewhere else in Curita there's something very special called the network hierarchy in which you define what is it that that your network looks like, how your DMZ is, and you specify the IP addresses uh, and the ranges and the CDA ranges and, and any geography you may have and so so and everything you put in here is considered local everything that is not here is assumed to be remote uh, so by looking in Curator looking at the source IP and destination IP can determine uh, what what we call the context of this is so, so let's actually modify our rule that we left it like this and we if we actually search by the word context notice that we can actually specify whether this happens from the inside out inside in I will doubt that you will do something remote to remote that's I wouldn't say it's none of my business but in this particular case I'm going to select local to local and I'm going to submit that and I want this rule that has getting a little bit more complex um, and, and I'll do a separate video on uh, an expensive rule and now when I say expensive it's in terms of the performance that is used of your appliance you don't pay for rules in Curator you can add as many as you want and uh, but you need to have a concern so for example if I were to like we did in, in the previous if, if I put event matches AQL filter right and I this and I'm and I put an one heck of an AQL filter that is you know look for the logs in the last five years and, and well that, that that's gonna make a search that is going to take a lot of CPU cycles and you don't want to bog your appliances with that but again that that that's going to be a separate video so back to our what we were doing is that now we want to make that rule to fire only when the event is local so we click here finished and if we go back here this should be should meet that criteria because both the source and the destination IP which in this particular case is the same because I'm replaying the uh, the, the, the way I'm replaying the log uh, this is uh, this is considered part of my internal network it's local to local so this rule should match well let's actually go back to the event list and I get keep getting this curator error I'm gonna determine what this is and maybe I'll do a short video about it uh, but um, it doesn't impact the way that the the tool is working so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go back and clear this by going in real time and I'm going to replay the same log again we see it here no keep forgetting I need to pause to dive into it when we look at the rules that matches this is member added to a Windows group which is good and in fact if we go into the offenses tab we go here into the offenses and refresh the screen we should see uh, yeah, right here that the offense fired again 